Tonight, the state is seeing controversy over Alabama's public libraries. This time, a group is expressing concern over Alabama Public Library Service Board member John Wall, who also serves as the state GOP party chair. WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beard Temple is in Montgomery with the story. The group Read Freely Alabama argues that John Walls joining a roundtable next month hosted by another group, Clean Up Alabama, is a conflict of interest. The event is called, quote, fighting to end the sexualization of children in Alabama libraries. A digital flyer lists Wall as a guest and his position on the library board. We just really feel like it crosses several boundaries. Angie Hayden is part of Read Freely Alabama, a group that's criticized Clean Up Alabama as trying to censor books and target LGBTQ plus stories. At the very best, it's a conflict of interest for Mr. Wall to speak in that capacity as an APLS board member. Read Freely sent a letter to the governor and and the APLS board asking for clarification on Wall's participation in the event. I'm just kind of shocked that anyone would not want um, representatives of state departments going out and talking with people. Wall says he's not a member of Clean Up Alabama. He's just going to hear their concerns and he'd be happy to hear from others too. I would be glad to go visit with um, Read Freely Alabama. I, I believe strongly in listening to everyone. Wall says he didn't make the flyer or tell anyone in what capacity he'd be going. As for whether he will attend the event November 2nd. I'm actually going to see no comment on that. Um, and, and the main reason is, is because I know that this, this has also created some, some flux within that group. And, uh, you know, we'll just play that by ear. The Alabama Public Library Service Board did not respond to requests for comment. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.